Hi guys, I'm Amanda from chemwithamanda.com and today I want to share with you my four favorite dry ice experiments to do with your kids. For a full experiment, including the list of materials for this activity, visit my website. You'll find that under the Kids tab. Two precautions before we get started. Always handle your dry ice with gloves and make sure you are in a well-ventilated room. Let's get started. Experiment number one, phase changes. I like to start out by putting some ice cubes into a Ziploc baggie. Make sure you squeeze out all the air before you seal it. And then I put some dry ice in a separate Ziploc baggie. Again, make sure you squeeze out all the air before you seal it. Take this as an opportunity to discuss states of matter and phase change with your children. Make sure that you get across two main points. The ice will go from the solid to the liquid phase. That phase change is called melting. The dry ice will go from the solid state directly to the gaseous phase without passing through the liquid phase. That phase change is called sublimation. You're going to want to set these two baggies aside and come back to them later although you can already kind of see the buildup of pressure from my carbon dioxide gas. That's going to be a really fun one to look at at the very end. Experiment two, the singing spoon, or what my kids like to call the screaming witch. You take a metal spoon, dip it in some warm water, and then using a glove, of course, press the dry ice and the spoon up against each other. You should get a sound kind of like that. What's happening is that the warmth from the spoon is increasing the rate of the sublimation. And as those carbon dioxide gas molecules press against the spoon, it creates vibrations that result in the sound. Experiment number three, the volcano. Take some warm water and a tall glass and just throw a piece of dry ice in it. Uh, you'll see that that will increase the rate of sublimation and your kids can touch the carbon dioxide gas coming off of the volcano. To make it a little bit more fun, pour in a little bit of dish soap. The carbon dioxide gas will get trapped inside of the bubbles and your kids will have fun poking those bubbles and seeing the carbon dioxide gas coming out. But be sure to ask them what's inside the bubbles. Experiment for the crystal ball. For this one, you need a bowl of warm water. It does not have to be this big. You will dip your finger in your soap solution and run around the rim of the bowl. Then drop in your dry ice. Don't forget your gloves. And then take a ribbon. I actually have a piece torn off from an old wash rag. It's been soaking in my soap solution. You're going to drag that along the top rim of the bowl to try to create a soap bubble all the way across. Usually takes more than one try. As the dry ice sublimes and turns into the gaseous carbon dioxide, it's going to fill up your bubble and it looks a lot like a crystal ball. Don't forget to come back to experiment number one at some point 
and just reinforce that the ice melts and the dry ice sublimes. And you can see that gas filling up the baggie and exerting a pressure there. Hit like, subscribe, and share with your friends.